Welcome back, everyone. A solemn Remembrance Day ceremony in downtown Toronto erupted into chaos on Sunday. It all started when two protesters who identified themselves as Afghan Canadian women shouted in opposition to Canada's involvement in Afghanistan. Toronto Sun columnist Joe Warmington joins us now in our Toronto studio with more. Um, as I understand it, you weren't at the protest. No. But you've talked to people who were at the protest. So well, what exactly happened? Well, and I also have the video evidence from uh, Derek Soberl, who's a citizen journalist who helps us out from time to time. And what happened was they had this thing and they, uh, you know, people heard yelling and that kind of stuff. There was banners. But I think where it gets crazy is the, a lot of yelling and screaming, interrupting the moment of silence, interrupting the different things. We've got veterans there that are 90 years old and we've got families of people from Afghanistan that lost uh, members there at the Cenotaph here in Toronto. So. It's classless uh, stuff, and that, that's part of what I'm concerned about. But also, the fact that you know that nothing, and I don't think anything should be done to people protesting. There's a lot of people died for that right. It's interesting that the guy that was trying to film it was threatened with arrest and bullied and, and this kind of stuff by an officer. But the protesters so, weren't. But that that was okay. Okay. One of the Afghan Canadian women um, who was involved in the protest uh, said the following, and I'm quoting actually from the piece uh, in Sun Media yesterday that you wrote. Um, As an Afghan Canadian, my anger can be justified, but I faced enough verbal abuse by racist, angry old white people telling me to go back to my country and that the Canadian military should kill more Afghans. We have free speech here, but we also have innocence until proven guilty. Uh, Should the police officers so concerned about a citizen filming their protest have also checked to see if there were Taliban sympathizers at this protest. Okay, I'm that's not... my the last bit. So what I what oh, I that's your... yeah. Okay, but back to her point about I faced enough verbal abuse by racist, angry old white people yeah. telling me to go back to my country. Okay, I'm not racist. Um, not I, I'm not old yet, but I'm quickly on my way there. Um, and I'm not an old man, but I confess that my reaction when I first learned about this was, but even well, the things white, are so rough, why you don't you go back white. to Afghanistan? Right. If you replace that white with anything else, then if, if you did it, or I did it, or anybody did it, it would be a problem. So it's not okay that they did it either. You know, like you can't say the same thing, you know, put a religious term in or, or a, a race uh, color. So it, it's not, uh, I mean, you can't legislate, uh, obviously, common sense and class and all those things. But I think the, these young people are misguided in understanding that the, this is a remembrance. It's not a political statement, as we said the last time I was with you. And, and it's not religious either. It's but just does a, she understand that the people we are remembering died fighting for the freedom that she's now enjoying in this country. And in her home country, right. where young women like herself now have opportunities, including running for parliament, going to college, and going to grade school. So uh, she clearly doesn't know it. I've tried to get a hold of her. I'd like to hear her side further. That email was sent to News Talk 1010, and I got it from there. But uh, well, we haven't talked to her directly, but I think that we need to talk to her directly to find out. The other point that is important is that why is it that the police think that, you know, some guy that's covering an event is an issue, and yet there's somebody that's uh, supporting a position of the Taliban at a protest in a public place, and there's nothing So what do you think it. is the answer to that? Well, I think that those people should have, there's a reason to detain and question somebody, to find out who, who's there and what's there, because we do have terror issues here in the country. So, you know, I think they dropped the ball on that. I mean, they got away with it, but we don't know. Exactly. When you have somebody supporting the Taliban after 158 people died and 130 of them through IEDs, um, you know, it upsets me. Well, you're not the only one, Joe. We thank you, as always, for um, your outstanding coverage along with thank all you your Thank you for remembering and Center. keeping it past uh, November 11th. We'll keep the story going because it shouldn't just be on that day. To save that, that, that day, we have to fight 365. Indeed. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. Joe Warmington, Toronto Sun columnist, joining us here in our Toronto studio.